Hey guys, my name is Junaid Khan and welcome to Art of Arduino and Microcontroller Tutorials. In this lesson we're going to be using the ProtoShield to create a simple circuit that will allow us to create a set of strobing lights. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started we're going to hook up the first resistor and basically I'm going to uh, plug it in over here to the last point. So this row here is all connected together. Basically in the uh, breadboard all connections here go vertical. So if I connect anything here they belong to the same row. This row we're going to make it make it into a negative meaning that it will connect to a ground. So basically we have to hook up all the resistors since we're going to be using four LEDs. So for each resistor that I'm hooking up, I skipped two points here so I can hook up the LEDs. One will go here and the other one will go here. And the other one will skip two more and go over here. So here I'll connect the fourth one, third one, and okay, so this gives me all my resistors making sure that they're not touching. So here all we have to do is hook up each LED. So since uh, electricity travels from the negative, it's going to go from this resistor through here to this first LED. So the the shorter one is a negative and this one is a positive. And everything that's going to go into the pin is going to be positive. So I'll hook up the first one from negative and then I'll bring it to positive. Right, so this bar here basically means that it's it's disconnecting any these rows from this. So this is a completely separate different connection. So here we'll hook up the red one, making sure that this is negative and this is positive. I'll hook this one up over here. Next I'll just hook up the green from positive to negative. And I'll hook up one more red one from positive to negative. Okay, so basically, if we look at this one, the electricity is going from negative through the resistor all the way down, then coming up to the LED, lighting it up, and going back over here. So this needs to connect to a pin. So basically, here we just need to select our pins. Here I'm going to connect this one to pin 10 like so. Here are the numbers for it. And this one, I'm going to connect this to pin 7. This next one, we can connect this to pin 4. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 doesn't really matter which pins you select just selecting and this one will go to pin 2 and last we just need to connect the negative to ground so here you'll see on the Arduino that this second pin here goes to negative ground and this will set us all up Next, we just need to create the program. So I've already went ahead and created the program, and I'm going to light it up, to soak it up. So here you'll see that it's going to start up in a few seconds, and then the program will run. Okay, so when you start up the Arduino 
sketch software what you want to do is go to examples digital and blink this will basically bring up the same program that we've been going through so to program this all we have to do is really just type in the pins first we need to initialize all of them so we used pin 10 7, 4, and 2. So here I'm just going to change this to 7, 4, and 2. 7, 4, and 2. And here we'll, ju we'll just keep everything clean here so we can save this for later. So once I have this defined, I'm going to define a new integer I'm going to call it my delay, which I'll give it a value of 100 followed by a semicolon. Basically, this is uh, one second is a thousand, so it's like a millisecond. So this is is real. It's just the speed at which it, where the LEDs are going to go on and off. So you can change it to your own value. So once we have that defined, we need to come in here and turn on the pins. So here we're going to specify them as output values. Basically what this means is that it's going to get the pins ready so they can output a positive voltage. And here's going to be pin 4 and lastly pin 2. Okay, so this in this setup, this is where it's just going to run this once and get it already. So when you come to this section over here, we're going to replace my delay over here with ours. So we can well, all we have to do is just change the value over here. So basically, what we need to do is specify all the pin values over here. And here, I'm just going to copy this and paste it two times and this is going to be pin 4 and 2 and here I'm going to tell the uh, Arduino to start turning on the pins so all of these are going to be on Right, so whenever we specify high, because we set it to an output mode, it's going to turn the voltage on. So basically that's what happens to create the strobe. Each LED is going to turn on. So now we can just take this whole piece of code here, copy it, go down a little bit and paste it again, and here we can create the strobing effect by now turning each one of them off to low. So you can experiment with how you want the lights to act. This is a very basic way of animating. Right? We don't have to get that sophisticated since we're just trying to accomplish a very simple task. So all of these will just turn it on low. So this loop will keep going on and on. It will just turn them on and it will turn them off, on and off. And then you can go ahead and save that. So once you do that, you want to do a verify and compile over here is just going to tell you that it's done compiling and then you can click on the upload button to upload to the Arduino.